hey, um, I've been kind of like, had a few things on my mind. Uh, the homeless have been on my mind a lot. I had another experience with this woman, this homeless woman. She came into the restaurant um, like five days ago. I think I was on su last Sunday. And uh, Maria, the owner, said, she was like, the woman wanted coffee, and she was like, her hair was out of control. She was like missing teeth. She was like kind of talking to herself and looking around. And uh, she had a big, huge cart of stuff outside. Maria was like, Ian, here, you take this. And so I walked up to the woman and said, hello. And she said, I want some, I want some, how much is coffee? How much for a cup? And she was like pulling out dollars and she handed me a dollar. And I said, that's, that's enough. That's good. And so I went and I got her the coffee and paid for it. And then I came back uh, with the coffee and she said, can I get some sugar and some cream? I said, yeah. So I went and I got her some sugar and some cream and she was outside like, she was there and she, she started to go through her money and said, here, take, take this, take this. And she wanted to give me a dollar. And I said, no, no, that's okay. K keep it, keep it. She said, no, please just take this. And I said, okay. And I took the dollar and I said, thank you. And she looked at me and everything changed. And she said, God bless you. And we just looked at each other and there was no homeless person. There was no crazy person because there is no such thing. People's bodies are fucking nervous and that's what we see. And I want to show, I want to make people aware of that by getting a situation where people that don't have money and don't have homes can get on video and make blogs and communicate and get to know people and people can get to know them and there's no fear of getting hit, of getting mugged, of getting robbed. There's no fear because it's all through the video. It's all pa this passive techno passive communication through the video, but it's real communication because it's communication with yourself. And you and it's awareness that everyone else is is just like us, just like me, just like you. Everybody is no matter what their financial situation or no matter how much abuse they've taken. Now that is connected to the fact that I want to put up a, a website for donations. I want to put up a website for myself, which I'm going to do this, and put a donation PayPal button, donation button. Now what I think about this is that I think that everyone should have a donation button. I think that there's no reason that poor people should stay poor and that the middle class should stay poor and that the rich people should keep gaining money. I'm telling you these videos, it's informative, they're interesting, they're entertaining. It's real people connecting. And when people see this, when people have donation buttons, just it's not we're not doing this for money, but we're connecting. But the people with money, with extra money, anyone with extra money can help the people without it. Capitalism is the way things are right now. There's not, nothing's going to change that. But I think this could be a great balance of finance. Could be a great balance of money in, in, within the world is the people with a lot of money, you know, that's what I'll do with my money, is help other people with it. And it's like, the, it's like the experience of humbling yourself to ask for it. I don't have money, but I want it. And I'm afraid of asking. Well, I was. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm just going to do it. I want to change the social norm. I want to change the way things work. Because now I think that so homeless people, say, have access to the internet at a shelter and make blogs and get to know people, and people get to know them, and you can donate. And then these people can get an apartment, get a, get a haircut, get a job, get a new, a new shirt. I see the connection now between these two things and it was as if I didn't I didn't think that going into it but now it's that's it's all connected and then the other thing is this book that I've got on my mind that I I don't want to write it I'm not interested in writing I'm interested in in this talking listening but I want a book written about this stuff and and I want to publish it and I want to be a part of the process and have it edited and pared down and I've never written a book, but 
it's more for for publicity than anything. I just want people to connect to the video because it's the video is the real learning process for any human being. It's the self exploration. So maybe you can't write a book about it. I don't know. These are some of my thoughts. I wanted to get them out, put them kind of get them in order onto one video. These three things in my life are on my mind and and they're all very connected to each other except maybe the book but even then just so many people can read books it's they're everywhere you put them in schools I mean if you can teach philosophy in school which you can for some reason it's not happening right now kindergartners should be being treated like people not like kids there's no such thing I just was talking to this baby Mia Miguel's daughter, she's four months old, he brought her into the restaurant today, and I was just talking to her, I said, Mia, I think that even though you're in a small body, that our consciousness can connect, and the words really don't matter, but it's about this connection, and she was just looking at me, just like, but I felt the connection, I know she understood, and then she kept looking at me, and she looked at me a few more times before they left. People are people. The body comes in all shapes and sizes, but people are people. This consciousness is one.